You out fishing for shark today, my man? Yeah. <laughs> you caught a little wild one, that sucker. Yeah. Yeah, that sucker. This is a tiny one. Yeah. He's just a tiny little guy. Yeah. What kind is he? Sand shark. Okay, so I'm back down here in San Francisco at up in Pacific Heights to, to answer the question about how to do the liver flush and some inspiration on intermittent fasting. Kenny Brooks left a comment. He says, say brother, you inspired me back in March to try the warrior diet. I've lost 18 pounds and now down to 10% body fat. The issues you brought up to my attention in this video regarding the liver flush are something I really, really want to think about because I've always wondered what, um, what the root causes of my dad's premature passing from cancer was. And it's time for me to try this liver flush and I'm not sure what steps are, what the steps are uh, that I need to take, but uh, to take to go through it properly. But I know you're a busy man, but it would be much appreciated if you could uh, be so kind to, you know, share your experience and how it works. So Kenny and uh, I've seen other people leaving the same comments about how the liver flush works. I have created a playlist, which I'll leave in this video, okay, that, that explains to the best of my ability how the liver flush works. I did a video myself going through how it works and then I also, the, in the playlist is a video from the master himself, Andres Moritz, going through exactly how the liver flush works in a short sequence, like a five minute video. And then there's one at the very end of the playlist. It's like, a, it's like an hour long video. It's like called the, the classic amazing liver and gallbladder flush video by Andres Moritz and then that video there is the full version of everything and how it works. Okay, so that's a really long version. Now, none of that replaces the book. So if you're if you're considering doing it, you really got to read the book. You know, since I'm not I'm not a practitioner, a doctor, I can't make recommendations. Say, oh, do this, do that. But I mean, I mean, realistically, you should really read the book. That's the bottom line. Because reading it cover to cover is going to give you all the pertinent information. I and mean, it's important that you must clean out the colon. The colon has to be cleaned out. You know, it has to be pain free. That's why I use Epsom salt. You know, before uh, before using the olive oil and grapefruit juice uh, concoction, but then it, but prior to that, the mal I have to have malic acid for six days straight to soften up the stones. You know, this is my twelfth time doing it, so I will definitely leave a video here here at the end with a playlist, or I'll, I'll leave a playlist here that you can go to to watch exactly how it works. And for those who have been inspired to leave comments, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm back up here in beautiful Pacific Heights, San Francisco, heaven on earth, probably the most expensive place to live in the United States right now. Actually, I'm right over here by the Miss Doubtfire house. I just had to come up here. It's a perfect night, Friday night now in paradise. Let's go check it out. And to those wondering what I'm doing, I'm actually reading on my phone in a split screen. So I'm actually able to read the comment from Kenny Brooks on the video. And then I'm actually doing the video. I'm filming at the other, at the same time. And I'm using like a, like a selfie stick, holding it vertically. So that's why you're not seeing the full picture kind of see the neighborhood where I'm at right now. It's a little bit dark, but actually I find that if I shoot the videos at this time of day, you know, I think they come in, the lighting's actually pretty good because the sun's not glaring. I think I found it. So back in 1993, Robin Williams made that classic movie, which I never even really watched the whole thing. So I'm not like a big fan, but he's a, Robin Williams is like a hometown hero here from San Francisco. So people love him. And he had this famous home. It was the Mrs. Doubtfire home where they made the movie. So let me just take a quick little tour of it. You can take a look and see if it's the real one. Is that it? 2640 Steiner? Pacific and Steiner. It's right there, the Mrs. Doubtfire Mansion, right there. 2640 Steiner, Steiner Pacific.
Especially that little Natalie. Look at her. She needs a sweep, I. Oh, God knows. They need some kind of stable father figure in their life right now. Thanks, Todd. Oh, what about their real father? Yeah, what can I say, Ron? The guy's a loser. I'll see ya. Loser. Yeah. Oh, sir! I saw it! Some angry member of the kitchen staff. Did you not tip them? Oh, the terrorists, they ran that way. It was a run by fruiting. I'll get them, sir. Don't worry. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Good waste of juice. Loser. What are you looking at? Well, it's the cleanest Air Force One's ever seen in a fisherman, man. Look at those things, bro. They're beautiful. Bright white Air Force Ones out fishing on the beautiful bay of Sausalito, bro. That's a beauty. Yeah. He's ready to go. He's hungry. He's like, put me back in that cold water, man. <laughs> nice. Good catch. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>